Assalamu alaikum students welcome back with lesson number 5 i am najma khan your assisty teacher and this is the part 3 of unit number 2 let's have a quick recap of the other parts in part 1 we have learned about the bodies of the water the oceans the seas and the rivers in the second part we have learned about the using and storing of the water let's quickly move towards today's topic which is water pollution and its effects water and weather what is water pollution water pollution is the contamination of water bodies usually as a result of human activities water bodies include for example lakes rivers oceans aquifers and groundwater water pollution results when contaminants are introduced into the natural environment especially to the water bodies chemicals from farming that wash down into the rivers waste from factories rubbish that people throw away untreated sewage are the ways in which we are polluting the waters in humans drinking or consuming polluted water in any way has many disastrous effects it causes typhoid cholera hepatitis and various other diseases chemicals in a water body encourage the growth of algae which spoils water a lot not only humans but the other creatures are also suffering do you know the indus river dolphin is one of the rarest mammals in the world there are only about 1000 of them left they are living in the lower parts of the indus river Water pollution is one reason why they are dying. The WWF is trying hard to find ways to save it. Let's move towards our next next topic which is weather and water. Weather is the state of atmosphere describing for example the degree to which it is hot or cold, wet or dry, calm or stormy, clear or cloudy. weather refers to day to day temperature and precipitation activity it can drastically change to a 24 hours period now let's learn about the water and weather relationship if you remember this water cycle which we have learned about in lesson number 3 it tells us that the water cycle affects weather because within the water cycle water evaporates and condenses in the atmosphere forming clouds that move and release pre- precipitation when the vapor in the atmosphere cools it condenses forming clouds and clouds bring rains with them and eventually they are a source of change in the weather can you tell when it is going to rain clouds can give us a clue Look at these clouds. Have you seen any of these types of clouds before? Cloud names are a bit tricky, but it's fun to learn their names. The tall cumulonimbus clouds and the thick nimbostratus clouds are the ones that bring rains. In Pakistan, most of our rains comes during the monsoon season from June to September. making it rainy and wet that's all for today's lecture let's move towards our assignment as we have learned about the pollution now it's time for you to think and write all the measures which we can take to stop the water pollution after writing it you send me the assignment on this given email address thank you so much